expectancy hangs over the Cow Palace as the time for the chief business of the convention, the nominations, approaches. Imagine an election without campaigning, electioneering, or even nominations. It's a reality in the Baha'i faith. From April 26th to April 29th, 171 Baha'i delegates from throughout the United States will gather at the 98th Annual Baha'i National Convention. The convention is held at the Baha'i House of Worship for the North American continent in Wilmette, Illinois. These delegates will cast their votes to elect members to the National Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of the United States. At the same time, Baha'i delegates in 181 other nations will gather to elect their National Spiritual Assemblies. The annual convention is held during the 12-day Festival of Rizwan. This festival commemorates the anniversary of Baha'u'llah's declaration in 1863 that he was the promised one of all earlier religions. The Baha'i faith has no clergy. The Baha'i writings charge national spiritual assemblies with the responsibility of being channels of divine guidance, planners of the teaching work, developers of human resources, builders of communities, and loving shepherds of the multitudes. This is also true of assemblies elected at the local, regional, and international levels. Those qualities are greatly needed, says the Universal House of Justice, the International Governing Council of the Baha'is. People everywhere are yearning for institutions that will dispense justice, dispel oppression, and foster an enduring unity between the disparate elements of society. To those who equate elections with hardball partisan politics, the Baha'i faith system of spiritual administration may seem like an oxymoron. Those in doubt might well examine how the Baha'i electoral system removes partisanship from the democratic process. This increases the likelihood that those elected are not bound by narrow interests, but rather seek the well-being of the entire human race. At a time when trust in government is eroding everywhere in the world, and when the electoral process in many nations has become discredited because of endemic corruption, this new model of governance serves as an antidote to apathy, alienation, and despair. Without campaigning, nominations, or election platforms, how do Baha'i delegates know whom to vote for? Delegates, the Baha'i writings say, may vote for any adult member of the American Baha'i community who possesses the necessary qualities for membership, unquestioned loyalty, selfless devotion, a well-trained mind, recognized ability, and mature experience. At the National Convention, delegates vote in silence in an atmosphere of prayer and meditation on the qualities of those they have in mind to elect. They also keep in mind the Universal House of Justice's advice to consider age distribution, ethnic diversity, and gender. Uh, 164 delegates voted in person, and we had five absentee ballots. The Universal House of Justice encourages delegates to approach voting in a prayerful attitude, seeking divine guidance and confirmation. The Baha'i writings say Baha'i delegates should disregard utterly their own likes and dislikes, their personal interests and inclinations, and turn completely to God, with a purity of motive, a freedom of spirit, and a sanctity of heart.